welcome to this time of midday on Wednesday the 10th of March when we will be looking at the life of Geoffrey Studdart Kennedy or Woodbine Willie as he was known to many of the men he served with in the First World War. He probably is one of the most famous chaplains in the whole history of the British Army and we remember his life this day. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. Jesus, like a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy, heal us. In your love and tenderness, remake us. In your compassion, bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. The psalm appointed for this day is Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. O oh, the majesty and the magnificence of his presence! O oh, the power and the splendour of his sanctuary! Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord honour and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honour due to his name, Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Before we hear about the life of Geoffrey Studdart Kennedy, we... Here are reading today from the Gospel of St John. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments. And as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love, I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you to be friends, because I have made known to you Everything that I have heard from my Father, everything that I have heard from him. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you may ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the word of the Lord. Geoffrey Studdard Kennedy was born to Irish parents in 1883 at St Mary's Vicarage in Quarry Bank, an area of back-to-back houses in central Leeds. He was the seventh of nine children and went on to follow his father into the ministry. At that time of his birth, nearly a fifth of the wage-earning class was in primary poverty i.e. their incomes were not enough to meet the necessities of life. He went to Leeds Grammar School and from there to Trinity College Dublin to study divinity in 1901. 
After university, he taught for a while before going on to Ripon Clergy College. He was ordained deacon in the year 1908 and sent to work in a parish in rugby in the Darters of Worcester. In 1910, he was ordained priest and returned to Leeds, where he met his future wife, Emily. They married in April 1914 in St Mary's, Quarry Hill. In June, they moved to St Paul's Church, Worcester, where Father Geoffrey was parish priest. Weeks later, Britain declared war on Germany, and Father Geoffrey volunteered to go out to the front as a chaplain in December 1915. He insisted on accompanying the soldiers up to the front, ministering to the wounded and dying, and became popularly known as Woodbine Willie for his habit of handing out cigarettes. Yet it was his insistence that, for all the grief and suffering experienced in the trenches, God is still near. And that made a real lasting impression on the men he served with. Returning to his Worcester parish with the military cross, his reputation as a preacher led to his appointment to the Anglican Industrial Christian Fellowship, which involved him preaching crusades countrywide. He became well known as a preacher and writer of popular spiritual books and poems, and respected for his abilities as a communicator. In 1929, on a visit to Liverpool, he caught pneumonia and died at the age of just 45. We remember a man today who not only served God and the Gospel of Christ in the parishes he was appointed to, but when the country was at greatest need, he went to be on the front line and ministered to young men who had been conscripted and who were suffering great challenges and great fear. So we remember him this day and give thanks for his life. Amen. We now have a time of intercession that will end with the collect for Geoffrey Studdart Kennedy. That this and all our days may be full of your praise, we praise to you, O Lord. That you will keep us this day without sin, we pray to you, O Lord. That we may walk before you in the paths of righteousness and peace, we pray to you, O Lord that you will bless your people and lift them up for ever, we praise to you, O Lord, that you will guide and protect us by your Holy Spirit and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting, we pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend ourselves and for all whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. Eternal God, you called Geoffrey to proclaim your glory in a life of prayer and pastoral zeal. Keep the leaders of your church faithful and bless your people through their ministry, that the church may grow into the full stature of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God's blessing rest upon us, all whom we love and all whom we care for, this day and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>